Welcome to video 171 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC head look at script. Okay, I'll make a new C sharp script and call it NPC underscore head look, and of course open it up. I'll have two variables that's private NPC state pattern, NPC state pattern, private animator, my animator. I will have no on enable or on disable methods, I will keep the start method. And I won't need the update method either. Now inside of set initial references, I have NPC state pattern is equal to get component NPC state pattern. My animator is equal to get component animator. And of course, I'll call set initial references inside of start. And now I'll bring in a unity method we've never used before. And that is void on animator ik. You have to write it exactly like that. This is a unity method. So of course, if it's not written like that, then it won't run. So void on animator ik inside of it. If my animator dot enabled, then if npc state pattern dot pursue target is not equal to null, then my animator dot set look at weight. So I want the muscles to have a certain weight inside of that brackets one comma zero comma zero point five f comma zero point five f comma zero point seven f. So what was all that about? Well, inside of the script reference, you can see that animator.set look at weight. Here it is. The global weight was the number one, which I had put. I didn't want the body looking at whatever it was. I don't want that affected. So I put that to zero. The head weight, I gave it 0.5 F. I could have put it higher. I could have put it lower. Eyes weight, I gave it 0.5, but there's actually no eyes in this model. So it's meaningless. I could have put that at zero as well. Uh, clamp weight. Uh, that I put it at 0 0.7 to add some restraint to it. Otherwise, the head could, I guess, in theory, tilt uh, into an unreasonable rotation. Okay, uh, so that's that. So jumping back. After setting the weight, I then want to for it to look at that. So my animator dot set look at position npc state pattern dot pursue target dot position. So easy, you can see what I'm doing. If there is something to look at, then it'll cause the head of the model to look at that. Else, so if, the, if there was no pursue target, then my animator dot set look at weight just a plain zero, and this means that the animation, whatever the animation is, whether it be idle, struck, or whatever that will uh, drive where the head of the model will look at instead of us manually altering it like this. Okay, so let me save that and we can go to Unity and start using it. Right, so on the enemy golem, let's attach this script. There we go, but we can't use it straight away. We need to edit the golem controller. So go to that on this little settings button here check ik pass now on animator ik will be called otherwise it won't be uh, we can try it out now hit play jump in and when he looks sees us when he pursues there now his head is tilting down and i can show you that so i can better demonstrate you can see he's looking down a bit just a bit so let me go down if i uncheck it there you go. The animation now takes over and the head tilts up. If I check it, now the script is taking over and the on animator IK is running. The game is running after all, so it is pretty cool. It still runs there, I guess. Uh, okay, so there you go. And that's it. Uh, so this was really just for a bit of fun, but we do have a, uh, I guess, a fair bit of work more to do for this chapter. So keep on going ahead.